Hi everyone, in this lesson we will talk about the orientation. So we talked before about the tilt angle of the solar panels. Tilt angle, how much it will be uh, inclined from the horizontal position. Now let's talk about something really really important. The orientation of the panels means I'm going to direct my panels through the south or i'm going to direct it through the east or through the west or through the north north south east west uh, or west uh, so what direction should i choose okay this is related to something which is called the asmos so what is asmos asmos is the angle that the solar panels are facing and it's measured in a clockwise direction from the north. So we have the line of the north. Let's say this is a line of the north. Let's just draw it like this. Okay, this is a line of the north. Okay, you can see the direction of the north. Now the angle from here to the direction of panels, you can see the panels are in this direction, right? So this angle you can see here, between line of the north and the direction of panels is called the azimuth angle. This angle representing the angle of orientation of the solar panels. This is different from the tilt angle. So how can I determine this type of angle? How can I get it? Okay. So first you have to understand very uh, simple thing. If you are in the southern hemisphere, you are, we are in the north and south. So in the southern hemisphere, you are going to direct the panels to the north. If you are in the northern hemisphere, then you are going to direct the panels to the uh, south. Okay, if you are in the north, you will direct to the south. If you are in the south, you will direct it to the north. Why? In order to face the uh, sun through the whole year as we can why because this affects the generation of the planet so as you can see if you are in the southern hemisphere the sun will be in the northern sky so the panels should face the north if you are in the northern hemisphere the sun will be in the southern sky so the panels should face the south okay and you will find uh, a tool that i'm going to show you right now that will help you get the exact angle so how can i get the asmos angle simply will find that you are going to go to this website footprinthero.com slash solar panel asmos angle calculator this will help you get the exact angle very easy okay so before we go to the lot let's go and um do or get the azimuth angle for any location okay so we went to the footprint here the solar panel azimuth angle calculator this is really easy to find the best direction for the panels okay direction orientation so let's say for example use your current location or add any address or city so as you can see you will see that here the north south east west okay or west so as you can see here that the angle should be 4.8 degrees east of magnetic south. So you can see that your optimal azimuth angle is true south. What does this mean? It means that myself or the lo my location is in the northern hemisphere. Okay, my location is in the northern hemisphere. So I should direct my panels into the south. That's why it says the azimuth angle is in the south or true south. By how much you will get this by using this calculator. Okay, so you can see that your azimuth angle can be expressed as 175.2 clockwise from the magnetic north. So as you can see, we have the north. So the angle from here, all of this, this angle from the north to this line is 175 degrees so my panels will be directed to this location it will be looking at the south okay so simply using the compass you will be able to direct 
the panels okay that is really easy you just add the location and you will get the angle so now we talked about the azimuth uh, how to get the azimuth uh, angle exactly okay to direct our panels now the next thing that we would like to see is that what is the effect of uh, the azimuth angle and the tilt angle okay so let's see what is the effect of the azimuth angle or the tilt angle what happens if i don't direct it to into the correct location so for example the azimuth here here let's say for example my correct orientation is zero degrees now how much losses i will get if i am directing my azimuth uh, to any other degrees for example if i am my correct location is zero degrees okay and i'm directing my panels to the uh, west okay how much degrees if you are directing an extra 10 degrees you will suffer from 0.36 percent losses 20 degrees 1.14 percent 45 degrees 5.15 70 and so on so you can see that the losses increases as the degrees increase however these losses are not that big okay that's why if you have a solar panels installed on a roof you don't have much control on the orientation and you don't have much control on the tilt angle that's why it will not uh, affect much your uh, generation okay if you have a control on the asmos try to uh, be close to the correct value however if you don't have any control then you just install these panels um, with the same angle of the roof now why this will not affect because you will have to understand that when i am designing my bv system my solar energy system the off-grid system i usually add 20 to 30 percent losses in the system so this 20 30 percent will accumulate or uh, will compensate to be more correct compensate for this losses losses in the tilt angle losses in the cables losses in asmos so the 20 and 30 percent value will uh, compensate for any kind of losses in the system so don't worry uh, much about the incorrect asmos but if you have a control you have to make it in the same direction or the correct direction of the asmos for the tilt angle for example all of these values are obtained from one of the websites one website that I have seen um, that shows the effect of tilt angle from the optimum so, so as you can see as you change tilt angle how much percent you are suffering okay so you can see that there is no much change as a percentage 0.1% or 0.449% so you can see a very very small change so anyway you don't have to worry about the losses due to the tilt angle and asmos because you are compensating this with that 20 and 3 percent when designing the pv system okay so we talked about here and this lesson we talked about the asmos angle and how can we get 